Hey everyone, Ashley here. Happy Tuesday. We made it through Tuesday. Um, I hope you all been having a good week, good day, and good things in your life happening. Today's video is about my weekly melting basket from last week's Wax Collab Wax um, Low Buy Challenge, and it was Risky Week. Now, um, I when I did film the video for my a preview of Risky Week. I had some ones in there that I really wasn't crazy about trying, but I pushed myself out of my comfort zone. And I must say by Thursday, Friday, I was getting antsy because I hadn't melted anything bakery all week. And I do melt a good bit of bakery. And my go-to items that I just absolutely love. Poppy, no, honey. No, honey. Sorry. Poppy is, she probably needs her scratching post, which is behind me here. Here, honey. Here, baby. There you go. Okay. Sorry. Real life here, guys. If you hear her, she is on her scratching pad, which is better than my carpet. We're trying to teach her to use scratching pads, uh, you know, the little scratching box things that have catnip in it, because all of a sudden, Poppy is, um, Poppy is a year and a half old, and all of a sudden she is, um, interested now in starting to claw the carpet, which is an absolute no, 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 no. So anyways, <laughs> enough about Poppy. Um, I was getting antsy for bakery and for pistachio, even cranberry, anything that was, you know, familiar to me and mostly items I buy. And that said, uh, this challenge of Risky Week was really, really challenging because I know a lot of us get into our, our niche of our Poppy, honey. She gets jealous now anyways, when I'm on the phone or I'm on my phone, like on my phone, or I'm talking on the phone, she gets very, very jealous. So that's, it is what it is, guys. Okay, honey, you're going to have to leave my mom be, okay? So, okay, um, let's go ahead and get started on this wax because Poppy wants my attention now and I'm going to have to multitask here. So without further ado, I have some empties in here. I was able to get through some stuff, and I do have a lot of ones that I used some of but did not complete, which is perfectly fine. So I'm not going to break it up into empties and, and uh, you know, unempties for lack of a better term to um, tonight because I just want to... I just want to talk about these. I know I'm two days late in making this one, uh, this video. I usually do it on Sundays, but I just, I've been into stuff the last few days. Okay, enough chit chat now. Okay, Rose Girls, Lavender, Linen, and Icy Shine. Now, when I filmed the video, when I put this in my melting basket, I wasn't sure if this was supposed to replicate cleaning supply or laundry or what, but I did, I used two melters of this. And the challenge being with this one is lavender. You know, you're just gonna have to ha handle the rustling in the background. It's just, it's poppy, so. <laughs> um, lavender smells like soap to me. So this one here, it was, I can't, I can't quite describe what is actually in here. I'm not getting linen. I don't know what this is supposed to smell like, guys. I really don't. And I've only seen this a couple of times offered from uh, Rose Gore Girls. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy this again. I mean, I'm hard pressed to think that it has like, it almost has, it doesn't have speechless in it. But it reminds me of that fresh brightness. And you know how Coastal Kill is very, very bright. It re Hi, honey. It reminds me of, of, of that. But I'm multitasking here, guys, trying to be cat mom and trying to do this. So I hope you forgive me. It isn't always going to be like this. Okay, next is Malabar Coast from Destination Wax. Uh, this one is warm black Malabar peppercorns overlaid with a light ocean breeze. This one, I know it's popular. I see people talking about this one. The challenge being in this one is the peppercorn. You know, pepper isn't something that's used readily in wax, at least ones that I've bought in the last year. So, but this one, this one, it, this is a beautiful description because it's a little bit of spicy, not cinnamon spicy, of course, just a little bit of spicy. You know, if you smell pepper, it's that astringent pepper smell. You know, there isn't anything else in the world that smells like pepper, but pepper. Um, 
and a little bit of ocean breeze, just a little bit of, it's not salty sea air, it's a little bit of, if you're standing on a beach and you just inhale really deeply, it's that combination of the, of the wind, the, the, the surf, the mist that's in the air. This is encapsulated beautifully in here. I really liked, I really liked this one, but this one I'm going to save for maybe springtime or summer just to kind of invoke, you know, I do live in a desert. I'm trying to make myself think that I'm on a beach. So <laughs> that's that one. Okay, next is, this was a unique one. This is L3 Applewood Fern Bamboo. I melted this one exclusively in my kitchen downstairs. And I will say, I'm not getting a lot of applewood from this. It's more, it's more the fern and bamboo. That fresh green smell. It's the only way I could describe this one. Obviously, this one isn't very popular. At least I've never seen it poured, but I also haven't been looking for it. This was in a mystery chunk box that I bought last year. And this is a one and done for me. I wouldn't buy this again, but I, I do like applewood and I do like bamboo. I don't know if I'm crazy about this, this blend together. But I melted the whole thing and it was just a nice fresh green scent. I don't gravitate a lot towards greenery scents, so maybe this one isn't in my wheelhouse, but I melted the whole damn cube, so I apparently liked it <laughs> enough to do that. I can't say the same for all of these in here, but I did give them their fair try. Oh, I love this one. This is Glitterati Oasis. And as you can see, I did get this guy in January a year ago. This was the very first box I ever wanted from Janine. And after I melted this, it's very, it's very fruity to me. After I melted this, I posted in Glitterati's group, what are the notes for this? Because I couldn't find it on her scent page. And Janine actually responded and said that this oil has been discontinued, but she's trying to find something close to it. But this, I love the texture of her wax. Uh, the, the challenge being with this is just to use Glitterati wax. That I don't have a problem with this scent or I hate this scent or anything like that. It's not that. It's making myself use my Glitterati. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about with how how uh, hard it is to get your hands on some of her wax. But this, oh, I love this. I love that it's creamy, it's fruity. It's got, a, it's got, it's, this is, this is wonderful. I like that. Next, we have Concerts at the State Fair L3. This was not a risky week item. Like I said, on Friday, Thursday night, Friday, I got really antsy for some normalcy. So I did melt some normal stuff in here this week. And I thought, you know, I'm just being honest. I know all the, a lot of you out there who are doing this challenge uh, probably felt the same way. So, you know, it is what it is. I, I have also spent more than $100 this month, probably because I didn't plan this ahead of time doing this challenge. I kind of just said, ah, what the hell, I'll do it. So I have failed that part of it, but uh, every day that I don't buy wax is one day on the wagon. So <laughs> um, anyways, concerts at the State Fair. This is funnel cake, a little bit of cotton candy, I think. Um, uh, what else is in here? I looked at it, oh man, I looked at it yesterday. It's everything you get at the fair and not any of the stinky stuff. I think she was kind of being a little tongue in cheek, you know, going to the fairgrounds and walking in the, the livestock area and stepping in a big pile of poo. Yeah, that. None of that's in here. It's funnel cake. I got a really strong bakery component to this. Powdered sugar in bakery is the best way I can describe this. A very nice funnel flavor, a funnel flavor, a funnel cake scent. Great job, Jen. I really liked that one. Next, we have some more Glitterati. Wet Dreams Rush. I tried my best to find out what this is, and I was unsuccessful. Um, I did not really care for this, just because I don't know what it is. I don't know what the notes are. I don't know what I'm supposed to smell, but it doesn't stink, but it's just not something I would buy. I wouldn't gravitate to this. It, I'm sure there's fruit in here and cotton candy. Maybe I don't, I don't know. I don't know what wet dreams rush is. So I'm sorry guys. If that's your favorite, 
I don't mean to hurt your feelings. I don't know what it is. So let me know if you know what, what Dreams Rush is, please. Next, we have Rose Girls. Basil, Salty Sea Air, and Thyme. The challenge being in this one is I had a bag of cucumber basil from Rose Girls, and I hated it. Uh, after a couple of hours, it took on a very plasticky, melted hot plastic <laughs> uh, to my nose, which really wasn't great. Um, I melted this, and I didn't hate this as much as the cucumber basil one I did last year, but this has a little bit... I think the difference is the basil and the thyme, those aromatics, you know, they're herbs. The salty sea air plays well with them, but I don't know if I'm in this mood. I'm going to melt this again when the weather warms up here in a few months, you know, March, April, etc. See if I feel different about this then. I bought this as kind of a nose cleansing scent to try to break up the monotony of fruits and bakeries and you know, P Palo Santos and coconuts and all of those delicious, yummy things that I could jump in a tub of. I bought this for a different reason. So that's that one. Next we have, um, this was, oh, this was a challenge week. Blackberry lemonade. I used the whole clam, guys. Um, my challenge was blackberry. I struggle identifying blackberry in wax. It's more, it's just a generic sweet berry, but I liked this a lot. This was from the Blast from the Past Sensationals collection that they released last year. This mixed with the lemonade, it took on a really, it's like, you know, you have strawberry lemonade, raspberry lemonade. You even, you even have strawberry margaritas, mango margaritas, you know, all those different things that are branching out from the original thing. So lemonade, everybody knows what lemonade smells like. I love lemonade. The blackberry mixed with it, took it, it's a mature, smelling, sophisticated drink now. I really liked this. I don't know if I was smelling blackberry, but I was smelling something that wasn't straight lemonade and something that I didn't get when I smell blackberry in bakery, like blackberry jam butter cookies. I have a hard time picking the blackberry component and even blackberry jam. It's just berry, like how berries have that deep, rich scent that every berry has, you know, what makes berries berries. This, I really like this. And unfortunately, unless they release this again, I won't be able to find this, but this might actually, I decided to do, um, you know, the end of the month is next week. I decided to do a new um, video series on my channel called Scent of the Month because I melt so much stuff throughout the month. And I, I'm, I know that I, I know that I can write down all the scents I like and all that stuff, but I think if I document it and make a video of my favorite scents of the month, I can go back to it, you know, in the future, I can go back to it and say, hey, I really like that. Let me try that again. So if you're interested in, of all the things I've melted this month, if you're not watching all of my weekly wax melting videos, I mean, this month is hard because I'm doing the challenge. The only one I didn't do was the blues, which is okay. I don't have that much blue wax. Anyways, um, it might be a good thing to watch because those are the scents that I feel went above and beyond and ones that I would want more of, absolutely. So that's just a sidebar. Um, this might go into that bucket for this for January because this was a really good one. I really, really liked that one. Okay, next. Oh, this was one that I needed a break from the risky, risky crap. Uh, <laughs> um, this is Super Tarts from the Advent Calendar. Plum, Walnut Baklava, and Santa's Cookies. And this one wasn't my favorite one from the advent calendar because I felt the plum, the, the plum took on a little bit of an artificial scent to me, but this was better than some of the junk that's in this basket. So this was, this was good. I actually smelled more of the walnut this time in it, which I love walnut, walnut, pecan, almond. I love nuts. I love nut scents. And they're a little bit more grown up than just a peanut. So I loved, I gravitate towards these different nut scents. Um, this one was not one that I purchased more of in the pre-order that Brandy, rec that Brandy um, um, offered. Uh, this one 
is it's just a plum bakery scent with a little bit of nut that's the best way I can describe that one next we have yum yum wax this is cherry almond cupcakes at Tiffany's marshmallow in these little mason jars which are so stinking cute um, I melted this because I wanted something different. They're all on the top because I, towards the end of the challenge, I just said to hell with the risky stuff. I'm going to melt fun stuff. So this is definitely cherry almond dominant. The cupcakes at Tiffany's and the marshmallow creams this down. It makes it just delicious scented. I really like this. This is something that I will I will be using up pretty quickly because I did buy this last year and I don't know how long Yum Yum Wax holds its scent for so I'm trying to use up scents that I bought I know early in the earlier in the year last year I'm trying to use those guys up so I get the full potential of what they're going to be next we have this is Beezy Tarts which I should have ordered from he had a flash sale the owner I think his name's John I'm not sure though if it's wrong correct me um his little two ounce shot cups I should have bought more but I didn't press the button buy because <laughs> I just didn't this was zucchini uh, pumpkin zucchini bread and this was delicious I love this I might order from BZ tarts in the future and um i really i really liked this that the wax cut beautifully it had a nice throw it was pleasantly smelled marty my husband commented that it smells like pumpkin bread and that man does not say much about my wax unless i put it in his face and say what does this smell like he only comments if it smells good so you know when you get marty's approval that this is a good one so that's a good one there um, I think I have two more of the, no, I have three more of the ones that aren't risky. And uh, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video because I did want to get through a lot of stuff. So I'm just, just letting you know. I mean, I know you guys can see the timestamp before you start watching, but if there are some of you out there that like the longer video, I try to put as much detail as I can into describing these, you know, cause that's why you guys are watching and that's why I watch wax videos too. So I really, I really like to give as much detail as I can. Okay. Next we have, this was in Rose Girls Halloween sampler. This was cornbread cinnamon roll muffins. And I've come to the conclusion that this does not smell like cinnamon roll to me at all. This is just cornbread, but it's a, but cornbread is nice. I love cornbread. It's a sweet cornbread. It's not a savory cornbread, obviously, because it's mixed with cinnamon roll. But this was just a nice cornbread. It lasted for probably five or six hours. It was a nice, excuse me, a nice one. The wax is nice and bright yellow when it melts. Next is Saturday Evening Post by Vintage Chic. This was a four pack of these rose, rose coins, whatever you want to call these guys. This is delicious, creamy, succulent, all of the good adjectives in the world that can be used to describe wax, this is. This is by far the best zucchini bread scent I have smelled. And trust me guys, zucchini bread was the wax, the scent of wax that got me into vendor wax. I love zucchini bread and I know there's a mess of you out there that do also like it. What I like about this is it's creamy. It's got a little bit of that sharp, spicy to it, but not much, just a touch. And I love this. Kirby, this is an A+. Plus. Hit the nail on the head. Excellent. Keep it coming. I love this. I have a blossom bar in this that I have to chop up. But this, I love this. This was the first one I melted when I got sick and tired of my risky stuff. I grabbed this because I thought, ah, uh, I need a little bit of something to make me happy. So that's that one. Finally, I got this in a random act of kindness that I talked about a couple of months ago. or maybe, No, not a couple of months ago. Last month, this is Teddy Bee's. Frosted Mint Circus Cookies. Now, Teddy Bee's just closed her pre-order. I have never bought from Teddy Bee's. This is the only experience I have with her wax. I might have ordered just a little too many. <laughs> 
but I know that she only has pre-orders a few times a year and I thought I've got to get onto the bandwagon because I really like the texture of this wax. I love this scent. This is sweet sugar, buttery shortbread, buttercream frosting, vanilla, and sugar cookie dough. I wish this was a little bit stronger, but it's good in a small space. It's a nice mint, just a nice mint, bakery, creamy scent. I really like this. This was poured on March 6th also. Uh, so this has still retained its scent. And I, and I know that um, Teddy Bees is excellent quality wax. So I'm anxious to um, be a part of the Teddy Bees family now. Okay, now this is this is really the, the risky stuff here. <laughs> Let's start with the one I hated, 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 detested this. I detested this before I melted it and I melted it and I hated it even more. If that can, if that is possible. I don't say the word hate for many things in this world. I hate the scent of this wax. Destination Wax was the, this was the very first large order over a hundred dollar haul that I ever bought was January, 2021 from Destination Wax. This is Rose of the Cimarron, which I Googled. This is, was a, this was a song, I think, from a long time ago. The notes on here are leather, red roses, vanilla orchid, and sandalwood. This, ooh, sorry guys. This, oh. Jeez. Uh, I have to catch my breath because it kind of knocks you down. I have smelled this. I think it's the leather. I told you on the, the video that I filmed for this preview is I, I lived in South Carolina for five years in my childhood. We had a lot of land with horses and my dad used to have shoes put on the horses because, you know, South Carolina soil is sandy. And they can get into the feet and cause problems and stuff. So when the horseshoer would come, I know there's a different name for it, but I always knew it as a horseshoer and that's what I'm going to call it. Um, this smell would be around that man. And I don't know if it's leather, if it's what's some, something that, that, that was used in that whole process. I mean, I was, I was between the ages of four to nine and a half, almost 10. And I have a pretty good memory. That's one thing that God did give me as a good memory. And I always, I always joke with Marty at maybe one day I'll lose it. So I'm going to, you know, be proud of myself for remembering stuff now. Um, this I hate, I hate this. And I put this in my warmer, one warmer. I did not ever dare to put this in more than one warmer. This burned my eyes. It stung. It amplified in grotesqueness when it was in the warmer. And that's nothing, nothing, nothing about Rebecca and Destination Wax. I love Destination Wax. Rebecca has amazing blends, amazing scents. Her and Jim are amazing, nice vendors who are honest, respectful, transparent, and everything you want in a vendor. This blend, I... If you like this blend, please tell me what this smells like to you because I think it's some sort of leather in the in the process of making leather. This is so strong, but not in a good way. This is kind of like a dump where all the stinky stuff is just concentrated together. This is that, but obviously it's not garbage smelling to me. And I mean, and I really, I do not, I hate this. This is the only wax I've ever melted that I hate. This is going right in the trash can. It's not even getting a second chance. I didn't even want to give it a first chance, but it is what it is. We live and learn. Okay. Next destination wax. The, the challenge with Destination Wax was to use this up because this guy was poured August 2nd, 2020. So he's, he's an old pup. This was Pinkberry and Tonka Bean. This is Pinkberries, Bergamot, Sugarcane, Peacock, Peacocky, P-I-K-A-K-E. I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry if it's, I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, Musk and Tonka Bean. This was very, very nice. It kind of reminds me of pink sugar. And 
it's perfumey in a way, but this was very nice. I love Tonka bean. I wear a lot of Tonka bean like lotions and creams that I have. I noticed Tonka is always added in there and I, and I know that it's in a ton of stuff, but this is, um, this is really good. I like that one. Next is I'll do the destination wax ones because I have a good bit in here. I did get through most of them. Marrakesh. This is inspired by the spice markets of Morocco. Clove, mace, cinnamon, ginger, turmeric, vetiver, and vanilla. I love this. This lasted all day. I put this in around 11 o'clock, 12 in the afternoon. This was going at 9 o'clock at night. This was great. I love earthy stuff like this. I know it's not for everyone. I know there's a group of us out there that really gravitate to these but like I said in my other video or maybe even another vendor video I was talking about I was raised with incense and, earth, and earthy scents I was exposed to everything like that so I do like these in my life I would buy a bigger size than that next is absinthe this is a destination wax also this is a smooth blend of star anise fennel cinnamon amber and aromatic green herbs now this this was, I get, now that the wax is actually out of the container, I get more of the anise in here, which I love anise, and fennel. Anise and fennel, fennel play well together. Like they're from, they, they have some of the same notes. They're kind of that licorice smell. Um, but the cinnamon, the amber, and the green herbs just smooth everything out. So it's not like black licorice, but it's a distant relative, if that makes sense. I like that one. Next, we have Olive Branch, Destination Wax, uh, Herbaceous Florals, Sweet Mandarin, Lemon Musk, and Vanilla. A refreshing take on Lush. I liked this, but I, 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 will, I will make just a general consensus with these little scent cups. Rebecca no longer offers these. Um, she has moved on to the have one here to these snap bars which is okay with me I'm finding that these ones the longer that they are that they exist in the world they're losing some of their potency and scent excuse me I had pizza tonight and it gives me a little bit of indigestion so excuse me <laughs> um olive branch I told you what the notes are already on this this is I like this. This is nice. I wish it was stronger. It has died a little bit, so I'm glad I used these up. That was a good... Thank you, Drew, for making this week because it really pushed us out of our comfort zone and got us to use old stuff that's sitting in our stash that we may or may not have forgotten about. So thank you so much for that. This is Vanilla Lace. This is the Victoria's Secrets. It's similar to Victoria's Secrets. You know, this guy... This surprised me. The challenge, this is a twofold for this. Vanilla, because vanilla, I don't really gravitate to just vanilla scents. I think they're too weak on its own. And also, this was poured in um, November of 20. So, this blossomed and got stronger as it warmed. I liked this. Would I buy this again? No, because I like... Hi, honey. I see you, honey. I... <laughs> My husband is not home tonight. He's at a Tool concert, the band Tool, with his buddy up in Salt Lake. So it's just Poppy and I here, and she's she's getting jealous because I'm not giving her attention. We already went through that, but I just got to tell you, if you hear her or she leaps at me, sometimes she wants, she just wants me. Um, I would buy this maybe again. I, I if I said I wouldn't, I, I'm I'm. I'm thinking I might buy this, but it, I would have to be really in a really special mood to melt this one again. Next is, this is, oh, this is Melted Mousse. And I, I had a few of these that I melted, and I forgot to put them in my basket for last week, but I, had, I was one of the people that was able to get a Christmas box from Jackie from Melted Mousse a brand new vendor to me never had wax before from them and I was struggling with a few of the scents not having a throw or scent to me and even to my husband who is my backup nose when I need him um but I will say um this brand has kind of redeemed themselves because I might have just picked out two duds right off the bat and I have no experience with this vendor so I wasn't sure what to do but um, this was cinnamon this is Manhattan Christmas cinnamon peppermint cream this was 
this was a light scent, but it was a nice scent. This is peppermint cream and cinnamon. Simple as you can get. A really creamy, nice, minty cinnamon. I liked this. I wish it was stronger, but I liked it. I did. I love the texture of this wax, the consistency of it. It's nice and soft, cuts like butter. I eat that stuff up. I love it. Not literally, but you know, I, I, it's kind of like I like Teddy Bees. I like Glitterati. I like that soft texture wax. Okay. I know it's a long video. I already warned you guys about that. Okay. A couple more in here. I finished up a body wash. I know this is not part of the risky week, but this channel talks about skincare and body care too. Uh, this was Warm Vanilla Sugar Moisturizing Body Wash from Bath & Body. Intoxicating Vanilla, White Orchid, Sparkling Sugar, Fresh Jasmine, and Creamy Sandalwood. I put this in my bathroom a little bit before Christmas. I just wanted to have a nice, simple, clean, set the set the slate clean, uh, shower wash, uh, shower gel, shower, yeah, shower wash for the beginning of the year. I did... Last time I got my nails done, I did just a baby sheer pink. Now I'm into Valentine's mode. So obviously I'm back to my classic red. I love red nails. I love red lipstick. I love it. So if you see me with red nails and red lipstick on, that's my color. I love it. Anyways, I just wanted something simple and plain. And this is kind of like vanilla extract. It's a little bit too plain for me. But I use this and I love the moisturizing body wash. I really do. Salty Sea Air, Blackberry, and Sugared Violets. The challenge being in this one was to smell the blackberry, and I didn't. This was Salty Sea Air, maybe with a little bit of the Sugared Violets, maybe, but it was Salty Sea Air dominant to my nose. Next, we have Salt Mountain Melts, which is local to me, just about an hour up the, up the road. <laughs> uh, Midway Magic. This is churro, birthday cake, vanilla wafer, and marshmallow fluff. Now, I must say, Amanda just had a, a ready to ship last week and a pre-order on Sunday. I passed on that one because I did try some new vendors this month, and I have a couple of guys I want to buy from um, next Friday. So I had to pass on this winter uh, pre-order, but I might pick her back up in the spring or summer. Um... But I like to support her because she's local to my state and, you know, go Utah. So that's why I bought from Salt Mountain. And I don't have a lot of her stuff because I only found her last summer. But anyways, this smelled light and weak in the bag. And I got nervous because I thought, oh, it's not going to be a strong one. This wasn't strong, but it was a nice moderate throw. But it was a warm, creamy cinnamon bakery, which was delicious. I really, really liked this. What I wanted in a bigger size and a souffle, this was a souffle, which I think is a perfect size. That or a Bitty Loaf from L3 are my favorite sizes of something that's new to me. Um, I really liked this. This was nice. If she offers this again, I would probably get another souffle. It's a good one. Next, we have Wintergreen Adipose from L3. Uh, this I did not like. I don't think wintergreen is for me. I thought maybe the adipose, which is basically marshmallow, would would um, give this like a creamy aspect, but this was too much like gum to me. This is probably going to go in the uh, I don't know garbage. I don't know that one is not Rose of the Cimarron. I hate so. <laughs> might put that in a uh, D stash or uh, you know the ASS wax that sometimes people sell maybe we'll see next is uh, destination wax coast of Sicily this is lavender and violets mingle with the salty ocean breeze of the Sicilian coast I know this is popular challenge being lavender lavender I don't smell lavender in this it must be the violet because I'm smelling a floral or a herbal of some sort. And this is uh, Ocean Breeze, mostly Ocean Breeze. Next we have Glitterati Summer Orange Splash. This 
challenge being to use up glitterati, which, look guys, I used a whole chunk. This was just orange. This was just like melting orange. And it wasn't anything special. I wouldn't be happy if I got this in a mystery box, but I mean, you can't pick what's in a mystery box. I, I shouldn't say I wouldn't be happy. I just wouldn't be excited, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this was just orange. Nothing to it, really, to my nose. Uh, a couple more in here, guys. I did use a lot this week, but I did use a good bit of these little samples I bought from the, the sample Try Me from L3. Warm Vanilla Sugar. I really liked this. This was the Bath & Body Works dupe, um, or type, whatever you want to call it. This was nice. I liked this in wax. It's better than Vanilla B. Noel, which is right here, and I hated it. I don't like Vanilla B. Noel on its own. I know it's a great blender, and it creams and mellows stuff out. Alone, I hated it. I only let that warm for about a half an hour, and I took that turd out. Um... Warm Vanilla Sugar, I liked this one. Vanilla Balsam, this was a nice Vanilla Mint. That, I mean, not Vanilla Mint, man. Vanilla Pine, this was a great one. Liked that one. Uh, vanilla Lace Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds. This, this surprised me. This is a marshmallow pretty perfume scent. This filled my bedroom and bath beautifully. I loved it. I would buy this in maybe a mini loaf. I really like this one. That is a good one. Uh, strawberry Pound Cake Vanilla Ice Cream. I like this. I haven't had this from Jen, and I'm not a I'm not a crazy strawberry pound cake person, but I melted this just because you know I'm not a strawberry pound cake person. I like this. It surprised me. I like strawberry pound cake as a blender, not necessarily alone, but I like this. I would buy that again. Uh, we have Blackjack from Destination Wax. This is black chamomile, brightened up with apple, clary, sage, and extra chamomile. This, um, this was nice. I wish it was stronger. I really smelled the apple and the chamomile. Nice blend on that one. Uh, next we have yum yum black orchid. This, uh, this is just floral, and it, I think it's lost some of its scent. I mean, it is in a poly bag, so it's not... Maybe it's just not for me. This was floral. It was okay. Nothing spectacular. Uh, sweet cinnamon sugar, cranberry marmalade, apple cinnamon. This was just apples and cinnamon. Nothing out of the ordinary. We've all smelled this. The cranberry marmalade added a little bit of extra sweetness to it, but um, not too much to my nose. Next we have, oh, Leanna's Lullaby. I wanted this one evening when I was looking for normalcy. This is the Lavender Chamomile Johnson Johnson Bedtime Bath Dupe that I may have two loaves of now, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> um, I like this. I love this. It's beautiful. I love that. It's lavender, I know, but the chamomile just takes it up a notch. And this final one here is Yum Yum Wax Lavender Marshmallow. This, the challenge being the lavender, it's okay. Nothing spectacular to my nose. Okay, guys, that's this week's wrap up for the Risky Week. So thank you for watching if you made it this far. It's the end of the video now. I know it was long. But I'm going to be uploading the video for this week, which we're doing, which is if it brings you joy, melt it. Don't hoard it, melt it. And I'm working on that now. So, okay, guys, talk to you later. Have a good evening.